In Maine, almost 400 people died of overdoses just last year. We've covered countless stories of young people struggling to get help, but feeling like there just aren't any options. So Christina Rex brought you a story back in February of a Maine woman who left the country to find help. Yeah, Lee and Amanda, we met Jordan Dumont from Shapley back in February, as you said. At, before that, she had been addicted to both heroin and fentanyl, and she struggled to find treatment here in Maine. So instead, she crossed the border to Canada to get help. My two main counselors, I think of them as, you know, a father and a mother figure. Like, they saved my life. Jordan found recovery at Andy's House, a private treatment center in Montreal. The program is a 90-day inpatient program followed by two years of outpatient therapy. Jordan is still thriving today. She's married now with a baby on the way. So why are we telling you about this right now? Well, Mike Weston, the owner and founder of Andy's House in Montreal, has made the trip from Montreal all the way down to Maine to visit us. And he joins us today with an offer that could help someone suffering from addiction right here in our own state. Thanks for being here, Mike. And thanks for having me. So why don't you tell us, you know, what it is that you came here to talk about? So we, uh, we recently opened up two beds for people who are either on social assistance or can't afford private treatment. Um, so my mission here is to, you know, go to the hospital, social workers, counselors, let them know that if anybody fits the bill that we, you know, we'd be willing to help them. And so the normal cost of going to a private center, Andy's house in particular, is 20,000 U.S. dollars, correct? Yeah. But these beds, these subsidized beds, will be how much? It'd be like uh, $55 a day, so about uh, 4500 to $5,000 total. How are you able to do that? Well, there's only two of them, <laughs> so uh, we expect there's going to be a little bit of a wait, but not too, too long, not like we're seeing, you know, nationwide. Um, and we do have other beds that are at the regular price. So why come down here to Maine? Well, there's a little bit of a connection, you know, with uh, the, uh, the special person that you just mentioned. Um, so there's that. Uh, and also, I mean, we've got, uh, you know, an English population in Quebec that's very small. It's primarily French. So we're reaching out to our, our uh, northern states, the neighbors, uh, you know, just south of the border from us. And uh, that's why I'm here. Great. What yeah. kind of treatment, um, just let our viewers know, what kind of treatment you guys oper operate at Andy's house? You know, is it medically assisted? What is it? It's non-medical, and it's, uh, we use multiple interventions. So some treatment centers will use evidence-based treatments like uh, CBT or psychoeducational therapy. Others will use a 12-step model. We use both of those, plus we have one-on-one -on -one counseling, group therapy, recreational therapy, art therapy, yoga, meditation, physical fitness. So it's quite a comprehensive program. You even have family therapy too, don't you? We have family family therapy, couples, counseling, that's also included. So it really just kind of, you know, you call it Andy's house. People go and they live there and it really is their it, life. It becomes a home. It Absolutely. really does. Yeah. Um, so personally, I want to know, you know, why don't you tell people why you do what you do? So I'm in personal recovery for 20 years. Uh, October 21st was my anniversary and uh, there were people there to help me, you know, along the way. I wouldn't have been able to do it alone. So this is my way of giving back or Andy's house's way of giving back. And why don't you tell us a little bit um, who qualifies for these beds? You know, obviously it can't just be anyone. Well, there, there's certain, you know, eligibility criteria. Um, because there's crossing borders, there can't be, uh, you know, a criminal record. Uh, I think if there's something, you know, that's uh, a misdemeanor or something small, like, uh, you know, disturbing the peace type thing, we mm -hmm. can get around that with Canadian Customs. Um, multiple treatment centers, we want to offer this to somebody who is, you know, hasn't been uh, through too many treatment centers. Uh, somebody who, who doesn't have uh, a serious psychological uh, illness that we can't you know, uh, help with, so bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia, wouldn't be something that we'd be able to care for. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, we'd be able to you know, help most people. And if you know, this might apply to someone who's watching this, either that person or someone they love, how can they get in touch with you guys? They can call us uh, at 1-844-689-2639 or you know, uh, look at our website, andyshouse.com and connect to us uh, that way. And that, that is on our website as well, that number. So if anyone needs that information, we're gonna continue talking with Mike actually uh, during the commercial break on Facebook Live. So if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to watch there. Lee and Amanda, back